You do virtually all of your work in After Effects in compositions, or comps for short, as they call them in After Effects. So we're going to call them comps too. The comps are kind of a framework for the video that you're going to make. You're going to eventually export the comp as a video so people can see it, but you work on a comp inside After Effects. There are multiple ways to make compositions or comps inside After Effects. Some are manual and some are automatic, and I'm going to show you several in this lesson. So to follow along to start up After Effects, you're going to see the welcome splash screen, and inside the splash screen is this new composition link, so click on that. That opens up the composition settings dialog box, and it shows whatever composition settings you used previously. In this particular case, it's HDTV at 1080p. When you set your composition settings, you typically want to think in terms of the main asset that you're going to work on inside your composition. If it's going to be a video clip, then you typically want the composition settings to match that video clip settings. You can also think in terms of what the final output will be. Will it be to, let's say, just a smartphone, something like that? Then you don't need to aim quite so high as you might want to work with HDTV. But my rule of thumb generally is to aim high. I typically use a preset that is going to be the highest possibility in terms of my output. And so in this case, I've got HDTV. I can click this drop-down list and choose from multiple presets, PAL and NTSC, and then HDTV down here, also HDV, which is a compressed HD format, DVC Pro, other kinds of HD formats, and various other things that you can work on down here in terms of higher resolution output. I usually go with HDTV 1080p 2997 because that's the NTSC standard here in North America. Other folks might use PAL or use a film rate, like 24 frames per second. But I'm going to go with this one. That's the one I like to work with. It's square pixels. That's set by default. Frame rate is also set by default, but you can change that if you want. You can set the duration for your comp down here. I typically go with 10 seconds. The background color is just a convenience. You can pick any color you want by clicking on this little color swatch there and picking a color that way. I typically go with white or black. The advanced tab takes you over here, and the basic thing that you're looking for here is whether you want to render with classic 3D, which is a new term, but it's actually the basic way that things are rendered inside After Effects or Ray Trace 3D, and Ray Trace 3D is new for After Effects CS6. It allows you to create 3D objects inside After Effects, which is pretty cool, but you hardly ever use that because it causes your machine to really work a lot harder. So usually keep it in classic 3D unless you're making 3D objects. And I'm going to talk about making 3D objects quite a bit later in the course, so I'm going to keep it at classic 3D like that. I'm not going to worry about these other guys. These are just things that you can change if you want to change how motion blur and things like that work. So we'll go back to basic. Give it a name here. I'll call this one, let's say, New Composition. There we go. Now I'm going to click OK. And the New Composition shows up right there. There's nothing inside it. It's just this blank thing, and there's that white background. You can turn off the white background by clicking this little guy here to show the transparency. Now we're ready to go. Well, there are a couple other ways to make new compositions. If you go to Composition, New Composition, you're going to get that same dialog box. Or if you click this little button down here, the Create a New Composition button inside the Project panel, that too will open up that same Composition Settings dialog box, the sort of manual way to make a composition. So you can make a new composition from scratch in several different ways, from the Welcome screen, by clicking on this button down here, or going to Composition, New Composition here. But there are some automated ways to make new compositions too that are kind of easy to use. Let's go get a couple of assets. Double-click in any empty space here inside the Project panel to open up the Import dialog box and track down a video. I'm going to look inside the Working Files folder, Digital Juice Stock Footage folder, button that up, and get this Bicycles MP4 video. Just double click on that. It brings that in. Let's go get an image too. Double click here again. Go back up here and go get the photo spin assets and go get this Abstract Waves JPEG file. Double click on that. All right. Now, let me just show you what happens if I take this abstract waves file and put it down here in this composition. This composition, remember, is 1080p, 1920 by 1080. If I click on abstract waves here, I can take a look at its properties right up here. And it says it's 3600 by 24, much larger than 1920 by 1080. Let me show you what happens if you put this in this composition. I'm going to drag it down to the composition to add it there. And it's much bigger than the composition. I can see it's bigger if I change the view here. I'm going to go down to this drop-down list here, the magnification, take it down to like 12.5%. And there is the full size of that image we just added. It's much larger. It's 3600 by 2400 versus 1920 here by 1080. If I move it around, you can see how much larger it is. It's not wrong to bring something that's much larger into a composition or even smaller than a composition. In fact, it's quite effective. You can move this thing around and have it be a nice little animated background. But that's just what happens when you've got something larger than the composition itself. 
Let me show you though what happens when you make a composition when you use something this large. If I just take this file and drag it down to this new composition button here, that'll create a new composition automatically that matches the size of this image. Drag it down there like that, let go. That creates a new composition called Abstract Waves based upon the name of the file that we dragged down there. And now you can see that the image exactly fits the size of the composition. If I click on it over here, it says it's 3600 by 2400 and it's 10 seconds long and it's 2997 frames per second. It takes on the duration and the frame rate of whatever composition you worked on previously, automatically. If I right click on this and say composition settings, there are those composition settings. It's 2997, 10 seconds long, white background, the same thing as before. And then here's the size based on the size of the file. But we're not locked in stone here. After you make a composition, you can always change it. You can change the duration and other elements here. I'm going to change the size of this thing by going to HDTV, showing that you can do it after the fact here. Okay, and now you can see that the image is much bigger than the composition it's residing in. You can always change it later. All right, let me show you how to make a composition automatically using another method. Here's the Bicycles MB4, which is 1920 by 1080, and it is 24 seconds and one frame long. So I'm going to make a composition that exactly matches the characteristics of this file. And the way I do that is by dragging it down to here like we did before, or you can right click on an asset like this and say new comp from selection. Just another way to make a new composition automatically. There we go. And there's the bicycles comp right there. Let me expand this to full screen by going up here to fit. There we go. And there's a little video there. Okay. And that video here in the composition will exactly match the composition's characteristics. If I take a look at the composition here, it's 1920 by 1080 and it's 24 seconds and one frame long. And if I right click and say composition settings, there it is. It's exactly matching the characteristics of that video file that we put inside there. So there are several ways that you can make new compositions. You can do them kind of automatically by taking an asset and dragging it down here or right clicking on it and selecting a new composition that way. Or you can do it manually by clicking on this button here, this menu item up here, or on the link inside the welcome screen.